Okay, welcome back. Now for question number two from the February, March 2020 paper. Now this is a uh, question which is new from the new specification from 2020 onwards. Uh, this is about stem and leaf, oops, stem and leaf diagrams. And this is something that's been added to the syllabus. So let's get straight on with it. So the number of people swimming in a pool is recorded each day for 12 days. So those are the number. And the numbers each day for 12 days. Complete the stem and leaf diagram. Now, a stem and leaf diagram must have a key. And the key is given over here. And what it means is, one, three represents 13 swimmers. It means that the first number, the stem, is the tens. And the second number, um, the unit, the, 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 the second number, the leaf, is the units. If it was like, for example, the, this says 1.3. Okay, if the key said 1, 3 means 1.3, then that would be the units and that would be the tenths. Okay, that's how, how you can understand this. So we don't need that point there. We don't need this there at all, in fact, just to explain to you. That's what the key tells us. So basically, what we need to do is write in these spaces here, just the leaf part, the stems are already there. But what we want to do is make sure we write everything in the right order. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to leave this space blank. I'm going to write over here the numbers as they come up and then I'm going to put them in order just makes life a bit less complicated so we've got 24 so I'm going to write a 4 here put a comma after it 28 so I'm going to put an 8 here they both belong in the 20s 13 belongs in the 10s so that's going to be a 3 here then you've got 38 so let, let's just cross these off as we're doing them 38 that's going to be over there 15 is going to be in the 10s cross it off 26 is going to be in the 20s, cross it off, 45 in the 40s, 21, 48, 36, 18, and 38, 38. Okay, so we have all the numbers in, in the right row. But now we've got to put them in order in the right row. So you can see that these are this like 13, 15, and 18. They're in order. So you can put the three. Don't forget the comma between them to make it clear. Three, five, eight. Now this is going to be one, four, six, eight. So 21, 24, 26, and 28. Remember, you don't have to write the two here. The two is already there. That's what this whole thing is for. And then 36, and then you've got two 38. So 36 and 38 and 38. You have to put them down and 30, 45, and 48. Okay, now we, we've done with these numbers. We don't need to keep them there. I mean, I mean it's like, uh, I'm going to put a little line through them so that the examiner knows that this is my final answer. Okay, that's my final answer for the stem and leaf diagram. Okay, now the stem and leaf diagram is now in order, and that helps us because um, part B says find the median number of swimmers. So you should put them always in order. And if you get one that's not ordered, supposing they give you one that's not ordered, you must order it before answering questions such as part B, where it says find the median number of swimmers. Okay, now one of the advantages of stem and leaf diagrams is you can see like where the majority of the uh, entries are. So we can see here that the number in the 20s is more common than the others. But anyway, the median is basically uh, a way of telling a type of average. And it's a type of average which is the middle entry when they are when the entries are are ordered in terms of their size okay when they're, when they're ordered in terms of their size then the median is the one that's in the middle okay the one right in the middle now we have here 12 entries there's 12 entries okay so we can say n equals 12 the number of entries is equal to 12. now to find the middle entry okay we, we should realize that sometimes you have a set of numbers, like for example, if I have, you know, just say that's a number, that's a number, that's a number. If they say three numbers, there's one number in the middle. But if they say four numbers, okay, there's not that, not one of the numbers in the middle, but there's like a pair of numbers in the middle, okay. And to find the median, you find what's halfway between them. So you add them together and divide by two. So you notice when there's an odd number of numbers, there's one number in the middle when there's an even number of numbers there's like two entries which are the middle entries which you then have to find what's halfway between them so what we got to do here is we realize that there's going to be two entries now 
how do you know what entries there are? Well, there's two ways, and I'm going to show you both ways because some teachers might teach one way and some teachers might teach another way. So you can kind of like ignore the way that you're not used to. But one of the ways of doing it is use n plus 1 divided by 2 will tell you where the median is, not what it is, but where it is. So that's going to be 12 plus 1, which is 13 divided by 2, which is the 6 point fifth entry that means if it says 6.5 what it means it's between the sixth and the seventh entry so we're looking for the sixth entry and the seventh entry okay so if you count along here that's one two three four five six so it's 26 and 28 so the median number of swimmers is going to be 26 plus 28 divided by two halfway between 26 and 28 is 27. If you add them together and divide by 2, you're going to get 27. So the median number of swimmers is 27. That's one way of doing it, and that's perfectly fine. And that's how I would normally do it for a question like this. But there's another method also where somebody, they would say, use n divided by 2, which is going to give you 12 over 2, which is 6. So when, it, when you use this method, if it comes out as a whole number, you take that number and... You take that term and the one after it. If it came out as a decimal, then you would take just the number when you round down from that decimal. Even if it's, if, you know, like for example, if it came to 6.5, you'd round down to 6. Okay? So that's how you, then you take that particular entry only. Now, that doesn't seem so uh, intuitive right now because uh, we're only dealing with median. But this helps a lot when we're dealing with things like called the quartiles, which I think seems like are part of your um, specification because of the fact that you've got to do other types of things like um, box and whisker plots and so on. So it's, you might have been taught this method uh, because it helps with quartiles, which we'll see maybe later on in some of the questions. But there's question um, A and B of question, of, part of question two from this February-March paper. So I hope that was all clear for you. And as I said, the playlist for the paper will be somewhere over here. The playlist for the topic of statistics will be somewhere over here. And you can subscribe to the channel somewhere over there. Um, and that's how we can navigate through this if you need to see other questions on this paper or this topic or these topics. Thank you for watching.